Let's talk about a few ways to move or relocate rows or columns within a given spreadsheet. Here we have our ABC Company worksheet up on the screen and it's currently sorted in alphabetical order by employee first name according to column A. Now say I have a need to move the first record, the first employee record here that I'm highlighting, uh, elsewhere within the sheet. Well, one way you might recall to move a range of data is to first highlight the range, then move your cursor over the edge and get that four-way arrow, at which time you click and drag down and relocate it where you want to go. Now, if I release it early, I'm going to be prompted by Excel to replace the contents of the cells that I have selected now. And I don't want to do that because I don't want to replace an existing employee record. So I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to go back to what I was doing before. Get that four-way arrow, click and drag down, and my only option really is to come down to the end or further down and release her name. I would then need to delete the empty row that was left void after moving Annette's record downward. But let me undo and let me go back and show you another way to move her record. If you highlight the record or the row that you'd like to move, move over the edge of that record. Again, get that four-way pointing arrow. Hold in your shift key. While holding in your shift key, click in your left mouse button and roll it downward and you'll see you get a horizontal eye beam or a horizontal bar that will appear where the record would go once you release it. Now I'm going to release the left mouse button and that followed by the shift key and there you see Annette was relocated within my sheet and her name did not replace anyone's. Alright, let me undo and let me try that again. I highlight and select the row that I'd like to relocate, position my cursor over the edge of that selected range so I get the four-way pointing arrow, hold in my shift key, click the left mouse button and roll downward you see the horizontal beam appear. Now if I move over in between two columns I get a vertical eye beam and we don't want to do that because we'll get undesired results. I want to make sure I bring it down, I keep that horizontal line. If I want to bring her to the end I release the left mouse button followed by releasing the shift key and that brought her name down and that leaves no row for me to delete as if I had just moved her name. Now I'm going to undo which would put her back up at the top. You can also do this with a column of data. Say, for example, I want to take column B here, and I want to move the department column over to the right. I'm going to move my cursor now over the right edge of the selected range. I get the four-way pointing arrow, hold in the shift key, click the left mouse button, and roll it over to the right. And you want to make sure that you don't get the horizontal little insertion beam. That horizontal like we have right now, we don't want that. We want to make sure we click right over, we drag the mouse right over a column division and when I get that vertical bar that's the one we want not the one we see right now but we want this one then release the left mouse button release the shift key and you might just need to widen your columns but notice how that brought the department column over and it didn't leave any empty columns in my sheet um, you gotta be careful how you do it especially when you're moving columns rows are a little bit easier let me go back again let me bring this back to where it was okay we're gonna do this again I select the department column. I highlight what I want to move. I want to move my cursor now since I'm moving it to the right. I'm going to move and hover my cursor over the right side edge of that selected range. Right now I see that four-way arrow. Hold in the shift key. Click the left mouse button and roll to the right. Now what we're seeing right now with that shaded horizontal line we don't want. We want to move over the vertical line that separates the columns. Right when you see that vertical line as you see right now that's where if you release the buttons it would then position that column. If I want to go further out to the right I go out again make sure that the line appears where you want it, release the left mouse button followed by releasing the shift button and there we just brought the department column over. I'm going to undo and bring it back to the way it was. This is another technique for relocating data whether it's a row, a record, or a column within a spreadsheet.